Yeah. The opponents of the Patriot Act? Yes. They've charged that it, it threatens civil rights? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They argue that uh, features of the act violate due process of law. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I've explained that I didn't get any due process of law when issuing a dissolution of marriage. Yes. In fact, the court record shows that I never got notice of court hearings. Yes. Because you allowed for my wife to take custody of my sons. Yes. Hold them hostage. Yes. And uh, terrorize my personal family. Oh. 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 Now, I know that Heidi's going to say, well, Georgia is actually the problem. Yes. Her lookalike twin sister that she didn't tell me about before we got married. <laughs> But every time you find a forgery of Heidi Lee Budner, yes, her sister's a terrorist. <clears throat> and every time that you decided that you were just going to play this, mm -hmm. well, I don't know about any lookalikes. I don't know about any forgeries. Yes. For every forgery I find on every court document, yes, from, from July 8th of 2011 until this very day, yes, <laughs> I'm going to sue you for supporting terrorism. Ooch. Now, you can make the decision that you're going to remove all the forgeries, yes, the fraud, <clears throat> and all the kidnapping and holding of children hostage. Yes, yes, yes. Now, more than likely, when I looked at the documents that were served on me, yes, mm -hmm. I had mentioned to a good friend of mine, Tom Bryant, when living at 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, yes, that the slant of the signature was different, yes, than the slant on the actual marriage certificate, yes, and the driver's license of Heidi Lee Budnick, yes. Now, this idea, yes, that you're going to allow for lookalikes to appear in court, yes, signing court documents, yes, so they can commit the crime of terrorism, ouch, so that you can deprive me of due process. Now I'm going to have to sue you for supporting terrorism. Ouch. See, you cannot appear in court unless you are the actual individual. Yes. And I know Homeland Security probably thought, well, we use lookalikes all the time. It's no big deal. Yes. But let's say it wasn't Phyllis that talked to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was Phyllis's lookalike. Ouch. Let's say Phyllis and Jack Range had this personal conversation. Yes. Where I wasn't there, mm. I don't know what was said. <clears throat> now, when I said it violates the uh, by uh, when, uh, well, then Phyllis's lookalike is um, mm -hmm, a terrorist. See, uh, this evaluator is not an attorney. Yes or an expert on the law. Yeah. Therefore, I needed to clarify some of Mr. Budnick's statements. Mm -hmm. Mr. Range informed me, yes, that the violation of Women's Act did not apply in this case. Oh, he also stated that protection orders are occasionally served before the court has convened, ah, uh -huh, and the petitioner has had a chance to sign. Yes. Uh, that's only available with temporary protection orders. Yes at the time of the accusation of a new uh, incident of domestic violence. Yes. And the petitioner doesn't have to have a chance to sign. Yes. The petitioner has to fill, the petitioner has to be in court. Mm -hmm. And the petitioner has to sign it. Yes. And the petitioner has to fill out the L-E-I-S. Mm -hmm. Now, Jack Range, uh -huh, if I found out that he had a lookalike, yes, I'd sue him for supporting terrorism. Ouch. I'd have him put in prison for decades. Yes. And I'd take his dog and put him in prison indefinitely. Ah. Oh, oh. Now, did you want to say I was delusional? Um, 